I see life as a gift. Um, regardless of what you believe in, you are a thought in the mind of God. And he has so much faith to allow you to exist. And so that alone is worthy to celebrate, worthy to find joy in it. So for me, it goes back to that simplistic statement of, I didn't have to be here. And so I'm here, so I might as well make the best of what I can be. I'm Purvis Taylor III. I'm an author, life coach, inspirational speaker, contributor. But most of all, I enjoy empowering people to become the best version of themselves. Personally, I've been knocked down millions of times. And, and each time, it was difficult to get back up. But I, I just refuse to let that situation take me out. So for me, the two things that define success are balance and having resilience. The key to having a balanced life is understanding your purpose. I think letting your purpose be the center of your life, I think it provides clarity and gives you the organizational skills that you'll need to balance the other areas of your life. When you, life is best experienced when you organize it around your purpose. So when you know what you're here for, it helps you align everything else in your life. My father, who has since passed away, one of the one of the last conversations that he and I had, I always say it was prophetic because he said I was going to write a book that was going to help people and help young people. And he said I was going to be speaking. All the things that I'm doing now, he said I was going to be doing. And at the time, I was like 23 and I wasn't thinking about it. But moving forward, fast forward, I'm going through this like lull in life, like this depression. And one of the things that I always found joy in was inspiring people. So Twitter comes about and I was like, start tweeting these little messages. And what happened was so many people would come up to me that I knew were like, oh my gosh, what you said, it really blessed me. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, blah, blah, So I'm thinking to myself, okay, cool. So I kept tweeting them and then I hashtagged it, Purpose Principles. And my friend was like, you know what? You should make a book of your tweet. And I was like, ding, ding, ding. And the light went off and that conversation with my dad came back to my remembrance. And long story short, we had Purpose Principles here today. The best part of what I do is it never fails. Kids or adults, they come into the room for a, a session and they like have this, I don't wanna be here type of attitude. And every time the session ends, they're like smiling and they want me to autograph their book or I just see the connection. Like I see it, the lights go on in, in their head. And, and afterwards they're like, you know what? I feel like I can do this. You know what? Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you, Mr. Taylor, blah, blah, blah. Like it, it never fails. I've known Purvis Taylor for about three years now. He's come to several career days and inspired young people to follow their dreams and to follow their passions and not be afraid to step out of the box and be themselves. To me, that's always the stress, all the hard work that I put into it, it's always worth it.